Hi everyone, back with another cleaning video. So come on back. everyone great to be back in and great to be doing another cleaning video with you guys now this will be the last one unless i do something different because my routine is the same in the videos you've seen every week so i've got my regular uh four hour cleaning day on mondays every seventh week which after six weeks the seventh time i do the big big one you've seen last sunday and then today will just be an everyday keep it clean video. I'm going to keep it in regular mode and just chat with you since it's only 30 to 40 minutes long. And it's just what I do just to keep it clean throughout the week. I mean, we still have dishes to do, blankets to fold up, things to do, you know, a couple of things to dust and stuff like that. And so I'll show you that and I'll just keep it in regular mode and just chit chat with you guys. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I noticed that you guys did. If I do ever do something different, I'll share it with you guys if it's cleaning, but I have the same routine every week. I don't think you guys want to see that every week. The same exact thing. I even do it in the same steps. So the same rooms, I do it, you know, I just have a routine how I do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be, you know, very productive with your life and keep your house clean. It's important to be a clean person. Those that are, uh, what is it? Uh, cleanly, cleanliness is close to godliness. So let's be productive. Keep our houses clean. And, you know, I know it's just me and my husband and my dog, but my mom, when I grew up, my mom on all of us, there was six of us in the house. My mom kept a spotless house. She also did a full-time licensed daycare, had a lot of daycare kids, and still kept the house spotless. So it is possible. Don't say because you have kids, you can't clean your house. Yes, you can. The kids aren't always around. Stick them in their bedroom. Tell them to play and clean. I know many people that keep their house spotless that have big, big families. So, yeah. You can keep it clean, guys. And I know that people like to see these videos. It inspires them to want to clean, to keep things nice. I got a few new pieces, too. I'm going to show you guys a few new things that I got that I'll show you in my kitchen and something in my back bedroom. I'm going to go through and just show you the house real quick, what it looks like before I start, just to show you that little bit of mess it gets through the night. Even though I cleaned yesterday, the little bit of mess it gets through the night. And then um, and then I'll go on and just start cleaning. But I'll keep it in regular mode and just be chatting with you guys and just show you what I do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. I know Jennifer has. It's something she really wanted. So Jennifer, hope you enjoyed these. They were a lot of work to do. The other ones were because they took a little longer adjusting the camera. I imagine this will take longer than probably the 30 to 40 minutes that's left to adjust the camera camera but I don't have to stop it or anything and save videos and stuff so it should go a little quicker but before we go on let's read the words of Jesus for women should have done that even in my first cleaning video I just forgot I like to do this every video John 15 11, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete and then it goes on to say when Jesus was on earth he did a lot of teachings but he wanted his hearers to know that he wasn't just giving them a bunch of rules. He knows that his teachings, the things you read in the Bible, will make your life better. That, or They will improve your human relationship and help you to live closer to God. He loves you. He wants your life to be filled with happiness and being close to him brings true joy. Just like when you clean, cleanliness is close to godliness, you know, and reading the scriptures, that's what he wants. God doesn't ask for much. He's not a nagger. He just wants you to be happy in your life. And he doesn't ask for anything more than just to believe. John 3, 16, believe and you'll have eternal life. Live a good life though, you know, live the best you can because we will answer to God for our sins. We are sinful people. Every one of us fall short of the glory of God daily, whether it's something very tiny or something very big, we do. So that's why Jesus died for us. That's why God sent him. It's just unbelievable what he did for us. But be thankful for that. Thank him every day. Get up every day and thank him for waking you and just read the scriptures. It's important to know that he's not a nagger. He just wants you to be happy. And I'm a very happy person. You see, when you've seen those cleaning videos, the energy and the motivation I have in me is because I'm close to God and always have been. But especially lately, you know, in the last, I would say last year, I've really drawn close to the Lord and been reading lots of scripture and learning a lot. So get close to him, guys. Seek him out. Your life will totally change. Great verses there. Oh, I didn't read the bottom. It says, joy is a net of love by which you can catch souls. That's wonderful. 
Absolutely wonderful. Thank you again, Jennifer, for this book. And everybody, start your day, go through your day, and end your day with what? Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. The best thing you'll ever read. The sweetest thing you'll ever read. It's amazing. It teaches you how to live. It does. Get on your knees. Pray the old-fashioned way. Spend some quality alone time with the Lord. Go into a room. You can call your war room, your warrior room, your prayer closet. If you have a closet big enough, make it into a prayer closet. Spend that alone quality time with him. He loves it. Jesus loves to hear from you. He does. He is very interested in our lives. And he wants to know. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your request, your, you know, your prayers, your burdens. He wants you, he wants you to cast them all onto him. He wants to hear you pray for others. Pray for others. He wants you to be good to your enemies. Pray for your enemies and wish no harm upon them, no karma against anybody. Wish only the best for everybody and wish everybody to have a happy life. And when you're walking with Jesus, that's the happiest life you could ever live. No, he never guaranteed it would be the best life. People still die in our life. We still, some people have health issues that happen, but you know what? Just like the footprints, I always say, when the guy was going through or the woman was going through the hardest time of their life, Jesus was carrying them. That's why there was only one step, step one set of footprints instead of two, okay? Because Jesus will carry you through the hard times. If he brings you to them, he will get you through them. So just know that and love him and seek him and pray every day to him. Like I said, the old fashioned way, and pray throughout the day, listen to Christian music, good Christian movies, try to have a lot of God throughout the whole day because that's when the devil flees. He goes, flee, tell him to go, get behind you where he belongs in Jesus' name. Definitely will be attacked by the devil, but keep seeking him out and Jesus will help you. He loves you. He wants to help you with everything in your life. So seek him out, love him, pray and read, read, read. So, that being said, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm already six minutes in, but let's get started. All right, everybody, I'm going to go through, show you what the house looks like, just leaving it, you know, just through the night. I cleaned all day yesterday. Well, not all day. I did my 40 minutes of cleaning yesterday, but I'll just show you. It gets a little bit messy, even with the two of us here and our dog. So I'll show you all the rooms and then we're going to get started. So everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see you in just a moment. And if you're new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and bigger and help many people with their faith. Ketogenic, fashion, nails, all that stuff since I have a multi-channel. And I do link my email, email down below if you need help. And other than that, shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video too. If you enjoy me, enjoy this video, and enjoy these cleaning videos. And it inspired you to get cleaning in your house as well. Let's get cleaning, everyone. Okay, let's just start with the living room. This is what it looks like right now. Got just a cup on the table there. You know, just a couple things. We'll be dusting that off. Got my blankets out. My little mini sitting there. Uh, we sit here every night, me and my husband, to watch a movie. So we just put the blankets out every night so that it's just comfy and we get cozy and cuddle and watch movies. So I'll be fixing that up. All right, but here you go. Here's the living room. Not bad. Nothing really out of place because, I, like I said, I keep it clean all week long. And there's that. I'll have to shake those rugs and stuff like that. But you see, everything is, you know, pretty cleaned up. Not too bad. You know, it is what it is. And then my kitchen, here's a couple of new things I got. Wanted to go with some fall looks, so I went with a different color. I went with the navy blue. Love this here, this little setup here with the uh, little pumpkins and stuff like that for the fall time. We all love the fall. It's beautiful. And then my new placemat here, I did the blessed. I loved it. And I did uh, this, or bless this kitchen. And then I found that cross too, and then that gray mat. I love that. And then I got the navy blue ones now, and the baby blue towels hanging on the stove. So got a little bit different look going on there, but I loved it. Got them from Dollar Tree, you guys, if you're interested. So, and then you see, I got a couple of dishes to do, not many. Like I said, I keep it clean every day, but here's the kitchen, not bad at all. Again, you know, keep your house clean every day and it'll stay nice. So that's the kitchen. And then we'll go down the hallway here. Nothing too, you know, too much in the hallway to do. Here is the bathroom. Yes, that's her pee mat. Ignore that. That's where she does her potty. Um, like I said, she goes in the house. Sometimes she'll go outside. If I take her out, we're out, you know, for walks and stuff. She does know how to use both, but it's just easier. She's always t been taught on a mat because she was just such a tiny dog. It was just easier. And she was kind of scared when she was little to go outside. So I taught her on a mat, but so we'll clean that up. So just ignore that. Sorry, guys, when I put a new one down. Um, but anyways, yep, just a couple things in here to do. I'll show you what I do in here. Just a couple things clean, but you see it stays clean when you keep it clean. Ignore that pee mat. Embarrassing. Um, and then here's my room. Nothing too bad in here. Again, it'll just be just a few little tiny things in here. Oh, look at that shelf I got, you guys. I found it down by the um, garbage. Somebody was throwing it away. I think it's a TV stand. I'm not sure, but doesn't that look good? I'll back up so you can see it. Like, it 
fits perfectly like it actually goes with my shoe collection. Isn't that weird how I have them on the wall? I didn't have any more room to put up shoes on the wall, so I had all those shoes on the ground. And look at that. And I can fit more on there. I just have them kind of spread out. But isn't that shelf cool for that? I love it. I told my husband, I said, grab that. Somebody's throwing that away. It was in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing. They're glass shelves. So I washed it up and put all my shoes so they don't have to be on the floor now. Isn't that adorable? I love it. That was something else new that I had got. Well, new to me. So, all right. And then our bedroom. Bed needs to be made, and as you see, my husband always has his table, always a mess with his candy. He needs to do keto. <laughs> and then just a couple things around here. But that's the little bit of mess that I'll have to work with, and I'll show you what I do, and I'll show you how I also um, do a few things just because of this uh, virus. I do like to keep things, you know, sprayed and kind of cleaned daily. So, all right, we're going to set up the tripod and get going, everybody. We're gonna get started here. I'm just gonna show you the cleaning supplies I use for my daily cleaning. Basically all the same. So I just won't use a glass cleaner, but I don't need that. So I'm gonna use my Clorox cleaner here. Um, this one, I ended up having to get the bathroom one, but it's basically the same stuff that you use for the all-purpose one. It's basically the same, and I'm out of the all-purpose one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one for today. And then my Lysol, because we spray things. And then I will just get a rag wet here and spray some of this cleanser on it. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll just bring the spray with me because I'll have to just keep, you know, having to rinse it and stuff like that. Don't need a bowl or anything this time. Like I did in my videos, I carried a bowl around for each room, cleaning it and using a clean rag in every room. This one I won't. I uh, use it for every room because it's not much new. And I always do the bathroom last because I'm not going to use this rag after I've done the bathroom. So, all right. So let's just go ahead and adjust this over here. And we'll start with this part of the living room. I always start my living room first. It's just a routine. Even in my other cleaning videos, that's how I did it. So the first thing we're gonna do then is go ahead and just get rid of the cup. I'll be right back. Just gonna dump it out here. All right. And then I'm just going to, now here's what, because of the COVID, I like to keep things sprayed because we touch things all day long. You know, I do, my husband does, if we go out, he comes home from work, stuff like that, like to keep it clean. So I will move these things real quick and I will just wipe this off. It's got the cleanser on it right now. I will, you know, continue to use the cleanser, but I'm not gonna move anything. I don't need to move anything. I'm just gonna wipe this off and we're gonna wipe just the lamp off a little bit. I just wipe this off all the time. I don't know why I just do, but basically I wanna um, get the idea of the knob itself that we touch. So I just make sure that I do that, all right? And then because I touch, you know, all the books, I just wipe them real quick because they get touched. Anything getting touched. Now, if it wasn't COVID, I probably wouldn't worry as much, but because of the COVID and we're touching things, um, just like to keep it, you know, try to keep things wiped nice because we touch things all day long and it's good just to keep things, you know, sanitized and everything, but because of this COVID more, I would have never done this much before. And I like to do the remotes because of course we touch the remotes. So we're just going to clean the remotes up. I got this a little bit far for you guys. Let's get this a little closer right now just until um, we do that. But anyways, I'm just kind of wiping the remotes off. I always wipe them up because it's another thing we touch. So I like to uh, clean the remotes off. All right, then we'll just set this up here. I'm just going to put the little mirror away. Goes in my purse. Don't need that out. Okay, then the next thing I do is I'm going to fold up these blankets. We'll just set this rag right here. Um, I want to open my windows first though. Let's get some fresh air in here. It is a little chillier here now in Minnesota. We're getting some 60s weather so but i still nice enough for the you know windows to be open and it is sunny outside so i'm just going to open these up here and they're already clean so we don't have to worry about them you know i just did that big cleaning okay and you should be able to see here so i'm going to throw everything onto the ground here i noticed minnie did leave she usually does she it's funny when she sees me grab the cleansers and stuff she leaves she it's like she knows I'm going to be fixing the couch and she needs to get off of it. So she'll be in the back bedroom. You'll notice when we go back there to make the bed, you're going to see her back there laying on the bed. Sometimes I have to get her like I did in the video. Sometimes I do because she hadn't seen me yet because I had to set the camera up to clean for you guys. But if I hadn't, I was just getting the cleaning supplies in to walk over. She would have automatically went in the bedroom herself. She does that herself. It's funny. She's a smart little dog. Smart little dog. Let me tell you that. Okay. So we get the, just all the pillows off. And then we'll start with the blankets here. I'm just going to take my hand and just wipe off any dust or anything. You know, it's been clean because I wash all of this. All right. Now, each blanket. Now, you know, in my last video, 
I washed all the blankets. The Monday before that, I sprayed all of them um, for my big cleaning day or whatever. But this one here, um, we'll be spraying them again. So that's what I do. Let me get these little pieces and I'll throw those away. Um, but anyways, this is going to be the same as like the Monday video. I still spray everything with the Lysol because again, we're touching it. So I'm just going to lightly just go over one side. I don't make it a big deal. I don't use a lot. You know, you don't need a lot. Just spraying it a little bit since like I said, my husband goes out to work and stuff and we keep him clean too. He comes in and you know, he puts his clothes in the laundry and stuff like that, washes his hands right away. And I do a couple of things after he gets home. I'll spray the door and stuff in his shoes and stuff like that. But yeah, we're just going to spray the blankets, each blanket here. And just give them a fold up and just set them there for tonight. But just spray them. It's important, you know, like I said, to keep the um, house as clean as possible with this COVID going on. You want to keep it clean. Um, you don't want to overdo it, but spraying stuff like this is a good idea just because it's things we're touching. All right. And then this one here, this blanket here that I use, I'll turn it a little bit so you can see. It's always folded like this because I just lay it on the ottoman because the ottoman is a little shorter if you see than the couch. It's a little bit shorter. So I put that there before I put the other blankets down so that when we lay and put our feet across it, it's more even. That's why this one's always like this. So I only have to spray this, flip it over and spray this side. It doesn't have to be completely unfolded because again, it's just um, to you know lift up the ottoman a little higher when I put the other blanket so it's even when we sit and it doesn't hurt our legs. All right, and then the red one here. All right, lay this one out. Let me pull it in, spray this one, I mean. This one was actually supposed to go on the bottom. I don't know why I threw this one on the floor. <laughs> so, you know, flip it over and do the other side. Like I said, this video might take a little longer just because I'm talking through it and teaching. So it would take a little longer than what it would normally take me. I would just speed through this cleaning a lot faster. So 30, 40 minutes uh, might be a little longer just because I'm chatting with you guys. So, all right, I'm going to get this one folded up. So, and this one, like I said, is supposed to go, whoops, I did that wrong. I actually fold this one a trifold just because it's so big. So, go like that and then like that. Okay, and then this is actually supposed to be the bottom one. So, I know as I set this up, everything's in order because the red one we cover up with and the rest we sit on. Okay, those go there. Then... We're going to set up the pillows here. I'll adjust the camera. Hang on one second. These are rice socks I use every night. I have um, long grain rice in this. You don't want to use minute rice. You use long grain and you can heat them in the microwave. I love to use them every night for my back, for, you know, my legs, whatever's hurting, anything hurting, or just to hug them. It just makes you feel comfortable, especially when, on cold nights. So I just love them. Um, and like you just get a long sock and you put in long grain and they last for years, you guys, years literally two, three years before you'll have to make another one. And they're, they're, they used to have them called the bed buddy. I think you can still get them. That's what they call it. But if you make a sock, just buy a pair of socks, two bucks, buy the rice, you can make your own and way cheaper. Those bed buddies are like 25 or $30. So just make your own at home and that's what it is. But you cannot use minute rice, it'll burn. But you can keep, you know, heating these in the microwave or you can even put them in the freezer and get them cold and the rice in it. But that's what I use. So if you ever see those and you're probably wondering what they are, that's what they are. It's kind of like, um, kids in their bottle or their nook uh, or their blanket, their security. I feel like that's my security. <laughs> I think the camera's a little crooked here. All right, now I'm just gonna pull this out, my ottoman, because now, you know, that way people can sit down and I'm just gonna brush anything off that's on it. All right, and then we'll start putting the pillows on. And I now don't wash the pillows. I'm gonna spray them real quick on each side. Again, because we touch them. Oh, wait, spray the couch first. Forgot to put that. Let's spray the couch down and the ottoman quick. Again, because we touch them. Then we'll start doing the folding of the pillows and get them up on the couch so it looks nice. And I don't vacuum every day either. Today isn't a vacuum day. So if I see anything on the floor, I just pick it up by hand. But I don't vacuum every day. I always vacuum on the Mondays but I don't vacuum every single day. It doesn't need to be vacuumed every day. I know people that do vacuum every day. Some people have to, I don't. I don't vacuum every day. There's no sense. I see the floor, it just looks fine. There's no reason to do it every single day. If I feel it needs it, I'll do it that day. Even if it's a day that I wasn't planning to do it. If I see it needs it, then I will. 
but we take our shoes off at the door and just walk around in our socks all day. So no reason to vacuum every single day. <laughs> I know that there are people that do though. I just am that one that does just because it doesn't need to be done every day. All right. So we'll set up that and then my little heart pillow and neck pillow. The other neck pillow is in the back room because I bring that to bed with me. But these, if you remember last week, I actually washed the angel pillow and this in the washer. Um, the rest of these, I have to wash by hand. The reason I do, can I spray them? It's because the covers, they do unzip, but all that's in them is a foam. That's all that's in them. It's like a foam filled pillow. So you can't take them apart. It's not a pillow inside of it. And then you take the cover off. So these have to be washed by hand. That's why I wash them by hand. That's why I wash the couch by hand because it can't be taken apart. So that's why on the big cleaning day, I wash it by hand. But there, I spray all of that, okay? And then I'll get the other uh, neck pillow in just a moment here. Let me set up the camera now and show you the rest. I'm just setting my socks up here, you guys, in the back. All right. One second, I will be back, I promise. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get these couple little pieces of paper and get our cleanser and our rag. Okay, and then just real quick, I can kind of set it maybe at that angle. Throw this away, I have a couple things in my hand, because I'm gonna show you that I'm just gonna spray just a couple things. We'll spray this thing, the couch, again, because we sit on it, so I'll just spray that with the Lysol. And then I do kind of just spray the floor. And do I wipe anything else? No, I don't wipe anything else. All right, so we'll go behind here now. So now the living room, you see, got cleaned up pretty quick. Now we're just going to quick shake these rugs. I don't shake these rugs every day either. This is about every couple days. You'll see that they start to get a little bit um, from coming in the door. That's why I have rugs down because we can wipe, you know, wipe our feet as we come in and take our shoes off. So let me shake these quick. Like I said, this isn't an every day, but basically it is. Basically, I would say almost every single day, I will uh, shake these out, unless they look okay. If they look okay, then I leave them. So, but I'm just kind of showing you if it has to be done, or and if the vacuuming had to be done. It doesn't have to today, so you won't see that. But add that in if you guys need it. Add that in, definitely if you need it. Okay? So that's done. A couple little pieces there. I'm going to throw this away quick. All right. And then another thing I do is I will just spray our shoes here, the bottoms and the tops, just because you walk outside. There are slippers, but we use them just to walk out the door. Okay. And then spray the rugs. And every single day, let's get this a little closer. Sorry, guys. Um, just forgetting to because I'm not shutting the camera off and stuff like I did in the other videos. So, yep. Can you see that? Yeah, you basically can. Okay, every single day I do the handles. Like I do in the video too, but I do it every single day because again, we're touching them. So we're gonna spray every handle in the house. So even the closet ones are gonna be done there because we touch them every day. And then I've got the door screen locked. Okay, now, just real quick, I'm just gonna spray, you see it? Yep, the light switch there, these handles, these hallway handles, because we touch those, and the light switch in the hallway right there too, and then just back, so that's my uh, coats that I wear outside. I just keep them here, they're just my little sweatshirts for now, and then in the winter, of course, I do a winter jacket. Okay, that's the living room, you guys. Now, the next room I do is the kitchen. So let's just go ahead and get that done. I'll set it up just enough to do the dishes and then I'll move it around from there. All right, so, but this rig will stay there and the cleanser will just stay there because, well, I still use it in here. But we'll just get the dishes done up here. Let me get these put away. Just so we can Sorry if it's loud, you guys. 
Hopefully you can see good. Let me adjust this up a little bit. Sometimes I notice these have to be adjusted up a little bit so you can see me. Okay. Let's put my pieces away from my side. It gets noisy. Sorry about that. Let me just put this stuff away. This goes up here though. I save these just to put little things in if I need them. Those containers, they work great. Okay. This big one goes up here. Okay, my fry pan. here for all the plastic and it is neat in here the stuff is set in pretty neat some of it you know not the neatest or whatever but that's just the one with my plastic stuff just for covers and things I need for um, putting you know food away in the fridge and stuff and then I do save my power aid bottles too again we use them for things my husband uses them to mix drinks um not alcohol his uh, energy drinks or like um, pre-workouts or protein drinks, he just uses those. He does have a shake so like that, but he just likes those or just either take to work with them. So he just uses those. So I save all those. And a lot of things that I use, like sour cream stuff and everything, because of Jennifer, I never thought about that. I've been saving those covers to do my nail art with and stuff. So that's good. Alrighty, let's just get this last one put away here. Okay. Alright, that's done and ready. We don't need to worry about cleaning that because I just did. So now we're just going to fill this thing quick. Got a couple of dishes here to do. Not very many times we get it so loud. Get a little bit of soap on there. And we'll just real quick do up these dishes, these couple. I can't believe there's not that many. Um, I ended up doing the dishes twice yesterday because I did my video yesterday for you guys, my food video. So when I do that, I will end up doing the dishes again just because I don't want so many the next morning. Um, so there would have been more if I would have left them. There would have been more to do. But I, like I said, because I was did all the dishes and then I did the video for you guys, used up some more dishes like that. Well, I got nothing going on. When I have nothing going on, I don't want to sit still. I'm not a person that likes to sit still. I thought, hey, I could do up the dishes and I'm going to to do tomorrow. Always try to make it easier for myself because today is uh, Friday for me. So I am going to be, it's Friday the week prior to me sending this video to you guys. You know, for a whole week. Um, but I do my nail videos today too. I get my nails ready for Monday. So I didn't want to have too much to have to do today. Let's just rinse these two dishes that I washed. My husband always says, you're like the fastest dishwasher. Um, I know I only have a couple dishes today, but if you would have seen, I would have had what I had yesterday, how fast it could go. But when I grew up, a couple of the jobs I had was a dishwasher. And I had to do the dishes at home. That was my chore at home when I lived at home when I was a kid. And there was, uh, I had four brothers, or three brothers, I'm sorry, and... Myself, and I have two other brothers, too, from another marriage, but the ones that lived with us, there was us, three, four, five, six, there was six of us in the family, so, yeah. I remember one time my best friend was over, and she started laughing, we were doing the dishes, and it was taking forever, and they had already been done for the day, and she said, do the cake keep growing out of the counter? She's like, oh my gosh, why do you keep, why does it seem like the, this never-ending dishes? <laughs> I'll never forget the day she said that. I'm like, I know, our family... We just had so many dishes and there wasn't any more coming, it's just that there was so many, you know, that we were doing it. She's like, are they growing out of the counter? She's like, why do they keep coming or why does it seem like they keep getting more as we're doing them? And I don't like dishwashers. I don't have one here, but I've never liked the dishwasher. I don't like the idea because you still have to wash everything anyways. I'll put this on for a second. All right, 
Then I'm going to wipe all the counters off with this, okay? Go through and wipe all the counters off. Go up around here. You know, you still need to wipe things down so it looks good where everything sits. Even though I washed all this on Monday, I still go around. You still have to wash it because it gets dirty. Some dishes sitting there and stuff like that. Wash my uh, cutting board here and underneath the cutting board. And I'll spray a little bit more just so I know it's clean and sanitized. All right. And then I always do the top of the microwave and the sides. That's just something I do daily. And I will open it up too and just wipe and wipe real quick. Just real quick wipe, you know. Keep it clean and sanitized. All right. Get this wet a little bit more. And now I'm going to spray out the sink. And I just usually just spray them. Trying to stay back though because last time I got some bleach on my shirt. Use the uh, garbage disposal for a second. Make sure that's all good. And then we'll spray this one. Like I said, I try to stand kind of far away. That's why I'm pushing my butt out here because I don't want to get bleach on this outfit. <laughs> try not to do that. And then I just wipe them real quick just so there's not water spots. I hate the water spots. Although you see my thing, my cleaning video, I actually use um, the uh, glass cleaner. But then I just do it like this. All right, now let's just go to the stove. The stove is already pretty clean, but I still will go through and sanitize in case we touch anything, even though I already had it clean from last night. But I'm going to wipe things down. Just turn it a little bit more for you. Like I said, this was all already wiped yesterday. It was already all clean last night after I did my video, my food video. I went through and cleaned up the kitchen and wiped everything down. But of course, we're still touching it. We're still touching everything. So you want to just, you know, wipe it down. It doesn't hurt to just wipe it real quick. I go across the top here where these were sitting because sometimes uh, the pepper will come out a little bit. And then just wipe around, wipe your little handles, like I said, that we touch. Anything you touch, just wipe it down. All right. And then this counter. I'll just go right over my mat here, just so that's clean. And then I will lift it up, because it's stuck. <laughs> okay, just wipe it quick. Set it back down. And then I'll just run under just this and under the butter dish. That's all, I don't have to move everything. I'm gonna turn my candle on so that it'll start to melt down so I can put a candle up, because that's the last thing I do. And then this here, this is already clean, like I said, I'm just gonna wipe it off and just kind of just straighten this up. I'll move this up just a little bit just so I can do a quick, you know, quick wipe. Like I said, this was already done. So I'm just doing a quick wipe. Had it been worse, the counter would have been a little bit dirtier. I would have, you know, went more in depth, but there's no reason when it's already clean, already wiped yesterday. Just go under this, wipe it down. There we go. All right. Make sure these are good. Shut the light off, shut this light off. And we need this for the other room. And then I'm just going to real quick spray these chairs because we touch these chairs. We sit here sometimes to eat. So spray that. All right. So the kitchen's done now. Pretty quick and fast when you keep things clean. All right. Let's go into my room quick. Okay. And here, there isn't much to do in here. This room stays probably the cleanest unless I'm in here using it. So all I'm going to do in here is just spray just a couple of things. Um, spray my chair where I sit, just spray it. This is nice just to spray things down, the carpet a little bit, just spray it, spray her cage, spray my chair here, here, and that's about it. I don't wipe anything down in here today because nothing to really wipe down. So that room's done. All right, so we'll go out of here. Sorry, bump the door, shut the light off, and now to our bedroom. Oh. I'm going to spray it real quick, just so you guys know, but I forgot the light switch because I touched the light switch, so I do spray that every day. All right, now, the bedroom light is on. I'm going to turn the other lights on. I'll set these down here, turn that one on, throw his garbage away. We'll have to wash this cup, too. Give me just a moment. I'm going to go set these out here and throw stuff away. Don't worry, I'm coming back, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe down this little table here. I do move just a couple of his items. 
I don't move everything because I've already done such a deep cleaning, but I do move the pens and stuff because he, he works with those. So yeah, just gonna wipe this off. He's got something down here, just a note for himself. So we will leave that and just, um, oops, fell over there. Minnie, you gotta go lay down now. See, she's on the bed, you guys. And then of course I'm doing the lamp, okay? Let me get a little bit closer here so you guys can see a little bit better. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna do the light switch because we touch it. Again, I'm wipe, wiping it with this rag that is a bleach rag, you know, bleach alternative, um, with our bleach cleansers in it. What is it, a 99% uh, uh, kills germs and it's a Clorox. So, all right, I'm gonna put, just wipe a couple of these things down and set it down. I'm surprised she hasn't left yet. Minnie, up, oh, mommy's gonna make the bed up. Oh, get up. Okay, wipe down his pens because he touches those. So just do that. And then I'm gonna set these here just so now we can make up the bed. Yeah, you need to go, Minners. Go, go, go. Oh no, I set down this rag. I shouldn't have because I set down this rag and I actually got, I think a little bit of bleach on it, but I think. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna make up the bed. I'm gonna put this rag here so it's not touching anything. Now, I just, when I make the bed, I just take the pillows off quick. I'm just gonna make up the bed, but I take them off because I'm gonna be spraying the bed. Um, you've seen when I wash everything, wash all the bedding and stuff, you don't need to spray it. Then I just spray it with that uh, that good smelling stuff that I use for the dryer, the dryer sheet smell or stuff or whatever it is, the um, softener. So now I'm gonna spray everything because we sleep in the bed. So we're gonna spray it, but um, just get all the sheets up like this and start with just taking one corner off and I shake it just to get any of the dead skin off and then put it back on and tuck it in here so it's nice. And then we're just gonna spray it. Okay, and then we'll put the pillows back on. Okay, these ones here I know are couch pillows, but we use them back here for our head. It just gives us more support because we only have a pillow each. I told my husband, why do we only have one pillow? So we're just using those uh, ones in here for now until we get some pillows. When we moved in, we had pillows, but they were old. So we threw them out, kept just the ones that were good enough, and that was that. Okay, so then I'm gonna spray this. Forgot to spray underneath the other one. Just a real quick spray, just so things are getting sanitized and just kind of spray the frame. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on, the first one the fitted. Always work at the bottom first. That's how I always do it, just to make sure it's tucked in, in right for when you pull it up. I've always been taught that's how you uh, make a bed. You always start with the bottom first. Okay, then pull it up like that. Go around here. I'll turn this way on just so you can see me a little better. Hopefully you can still see. Hopefully the camera's set up good enough. And then just get that on nice. The bottom was already nice, so I didn't have to worry about that. Okay, then we'll spray this. I know it's a little piece of fuzz here. Let's get this off <laughs> and throw that away. I'm so anal with things, you guys. Okay, now throw the blanket up over. And again, we're gonna start with the bottom. I always do, I always start with the bottom and tuck so that our feet stay warm at night time. We stay kind of tucked in. And then it gets ruined throughout the day or throughout the night. My husband sleeps and hogs the blankets all the time. He always does. And he's always pulling on them. Talks through the night too, you guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, just get it up here. Be careful of this stuff here. Okay. And then I just give it a little tuck in there. Go to the other side, tuck it in. Okay, and then our pillows here that are like the pretty ones, decorative pillows that you put on, we just put those on top. They get taken off at nighttime. Oh, I got the other one I just put on. Okay, and just do that. And then again, we're gonna, I'll tuck this in. Then we're gonna just give it a spray. I'm gonna fix that other side that I just messed up. Make sure this is all straight. I hate when a bed isn't straight. It bothers me really bad. 
Okay, so tuck that in. Put this in, make sure that's straight. Okay. The neck pillow, I'll throw out there, we put that on first. Okay, so that's good. I'm just gonna spray it one more time. Make sure that's good. All right, so I can set this cleanser there because I won't need that. I'm just gonna go real quick, do my side. Wipe off my table quick. And the part that I touched, the light switch, you wanna make sure, you know, the part you touch because we're touching things in the little handle on the doors. And then this little fan here in the corner that we use at nighttime, I also use my fingers on that. So I'm gonna wipe that, wipe off this little thing here. Hopefully you guys can still see all that. And then I'll turn it because I just real quick wipe this down and just wipe that and this little table here. Okay. And then the closet quick. My husband usually has a few things out. So I just kind of put his clothes that he's using for the day when he gets back or his jammies. Just toss those in there. He keeps, this is his closet. He keeps it clean. So just like that. And then we're just going to close it up. He always has it open. Uh, and then take the spray and we're going to spray the handles because again, we touch them every day. And then just put his towel there. Take the rag out and then I'm going to spray the light switch and the heater thing because that's how we touch. And then the door handle on both sides again because it's COVID. Just trying to keep it clean. Okay. All right. Now we'll do the bathroom. So let's get the light on. Again, ignore her pee pad. I will move that. I'm going to shut this light off in here. No reason to have a light on in here. Okay, and I just found a couple things on the floor I was picking up to throw away. All right, just putting my pillow away. Be right back, guys. And like I said, bathroom is always the last room I do because um, I'm going to wipe off the top up here to my movie stand here. I'm just going to wipe this off quick. Okay, and then we'll put it into the bathroom. But yeah, the last one I do, because I'm using the same rag for all the rooms since it's not that bad. So I'm just going to tilt that down a little bit. We're going to pick up her pad and put a new one down. Okay. Then just come in here and all I do, where's my cleanser? Oh, right here. All I do now is just spray a little bit of the counter because everything's already there. I'm not going to really move anything. I move a little bit if I see a little bit of hairs. My husband does a lot of trimming of his beard. <laughs> he needs a thing like perfectly even. He's so anal. So he gets hairs around. So I'm always cleaning up little hairs. We're just going to wipe this out. Wipe the sink out. Just a little bit. Like I said, this is just a quick, quick job since I clean the bathroom. I'm, you know, so good on Monday, but I'm going to wash the handle and stuff like that because we touch that. All right. And then just wipe over on my side of my things. And that's it there. All right, that's good. Sometimes I'll clean out the soap dish if it needs it, but it doesn't. And then we're gonna just quick wipe off the toilet or the bathtub here, just going across. Again, since we would touch it probably, a few things we touch on it, okay? Last will be the toilet. So we'll do the up part first and then the down part so that we're not touching the ickiness because then the last part of it, we're gonna throw this rag away then, okay? So we're going to do it like that and then just go around real quick inside around because you had company. You wouldn't want them to see a gross toilet and you know, it gets dirty every day. It does. So, and I'll wash my hands after this guys. Don't worry. I do. I'm working with the cleanser anyways. So I'll do that and we'll just put it down, put this down and that's done. And then Real quick, I'm just going to spray where her mat was and wipe it and clean it because it's now it's the floor. So that's fine that I can go from one to the next. Just a little bit there, I wanted to wipe up. And then I'll put a new mat down for her. Okay. That, you know, it's not the most attractive thing, but it's in a bathroom. And that's where people go to the bathroom, right? So put that down for her. All right. And then I'm going to, whoops, 
grab the spray disinfectant and we're gonna spray the light switch like I do in the other ones because we touched that and the door handle because we touched that and I'm just gonna wipe the handle right there for that, okay? All right, now we can shut this up. We will be putting candles out, but now let's go ahead and go into the next room to get the candle stuff. We're almost done, guys, almost done, and we're at what? 34 minutes, like I said, and that's even recording, so that's pretty good. Let's put away the cleaning supplies, throw her mat in the garbage. Okay, oh, forgot just a couple things in the kitchen here. Um, hopefully you can see, I'll turn the light on, so you can see, and hopefully you're seeing, I spray this, I spray the fridge handle, I spray the two covers that I open because I touch them, and I spray these because that's the laundry, all right, and then put it away, my hands, you know, I would normally, I'm going to set the right there, I would normally have not done that because I just touched it again, but my hands are, you know, are clean because I've got a cleanser on them. All right, and then I'm gonna real quick rinse out this cup. That wouldn't be something I would have to do. I would have already got this out of there. I forgot about that. So let's wash up this cup really quick here. This coffee mug. All right. And then I'm just gonna grab a couple of paper towels because I want to just wipe wherever I got some water drops and shut this off. We're going to do up the candles quick. You can see them from there. So that one I've got to take off because it's not completely melted. So now I have to take it off just to rub that stuff out just so I can get this out right away and you guys don't have to wait any longer. So that's clean now and now I can put a candle in it. We're going to grab the candles out. I'm going to do the cinnamon today. And I always cut mine in half. Like I, I always tell people, why use a whole one? Just cut it in half. And I cut it in half. That way I have three warmers in here. I normally have four. I had one in our bedroom too, but that one, the um, thing broke. It was a really old one. So I uh, just, um, you know, threw it out and I got to get another one for the bedroom. I, that way, when I do those, it would take two of these cubes instead of four. It would take two with, with having four warmers. And now I only have three until I get that third, that uh, fourth one back, and I will be, and then I will use two cubes a day. So you're only using two, so you're saving money because whether you use a whole one or use a half a one, guys, it still smells just as good. All right, let's go quick into here and do this one. You get what I'm saying? I mean, why, if a whole will work just as good as a half, might as well save, right? Because those things aren't super expensive, the wax burners, but I mean, when, you know, you only get six in a pack, that's only two days worth then. So then it does add up. But when I do a six pack, I'm getting, um, well, if I break them half, that's 12. So I'm getting six uses then, you know, two, four, six, wait, two, four, six. Yeah, I would get, cause if there's six in it, you break it in half. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like three uses, you know, you get three or whatever. I'm saying that right. <laughs> My math isn't on right now, and yet I'm a huge math person. So I've got 12 here, which means I've got 24. This is the bigger pack. And then I have a warmer back here too in my room, so I'm gonna clean that out. I'm sure you saw that in that video. Clean that one out too. Be very careful not to drip the wax. And then I'm gonna throw that away quick in my garbage over here. And put one out here. But anyway, so what it would be is if this is a bigger pack, this is the 12 pack. So I'm actually getting um, 24, you know, uh, pieces because I, you know, cut them. So I get 24 pieces then. So that's that. So you guys know. So, all right, let's bring the camera out and put that away quick. All right. So that's done. Everything's done. These ones got wet, so I'm going to throw them in the garbage. And then the last thing, I'm going to wash my hands quick. Because I've got that bleach stuff on it. So just wash my hands out. Let's use a dish soap this time. It's an antibacterial anyway. So I'll just wash up my hands quick. Since I was touching all that bleach and everything. But we just wash the hands quick. 
and then shake, grab a little paper towel to shut it out because my hands are wet, make sure this is all cleaned out, throw this in the garbage, and that is that. What are we at? Now that was even filming, 39 minutes. We're at 39 minutes right now, you guys. Let me get this adjusted better <laughs> so you can see me. Okay, took 39 minutes, that's it, just to keep it clean. And you see, that's how you keep it clean throughout the week so you don't have a lot to do. I think this is crooked here. <laughs> so you don't have a lot to do. But you see, I told you about 30, 40 minutes a day is all I have to do when I do the big cleaning. But you see, I do add some, you know, some things in cleaning, anything that we touch. Light switches, light switches under our lamps, um, the handles, the handles in the bathroom, you know, all that stuff that we touch daily, door handles, stuff like that because of this COVID. I just want to keep it extra clean, extra uh, sanitized. And when he gets home tonight, I will quick just do the door. I don't let him touch anything else than the door when he comes in. I make him take his shoes off right away. I spray his shoes. I make him undress, you know, like right there. He undresses, puts his stuff in the laundry and goes and washes his hands right away. Then he can touch everything else. So I will spray that. I will spray where he washed his hands and wash, you know, spray his shoes. But that's it. Then that's all I have to do. Then the next day, we'll start over again and just make sure everything's clean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video now. This was just a quick one, but just shows you my everyday cleaning. Now you know what I do for cleaning, how I keep this house so beautiful. And if you want, I'll uh, flip it around. Give me just one second and flip it around. Okay. I couldn't flip it around with it on. Sorry about that, guys. But there you go. Here's the house. We'll just go through quick and look at it. You see it's nice and clean. Again, dusting doesn't have to be done like all of this stuff because I do it weekly. So it doesn't have to be done, but I still keep things nice. Isn't that just adorable? I love the navy blue. I love that it says blessed. I love the stove covers and I love that cross. I love the color for the fall. Uh, what is it? Bless this kitchen. Yes, Lord, bless this kitchen. <laughs> so there you go. There's the kitchen and then the hallway part. That's all nice and neat now. And then, of course, the bathroom again is all nice and neat again. All nice and cleaned up. And my room, you know, is nice. You already seen that. And then, of course, our bedroom. All nice and ready and clean. So see, guys, doesn't have to be a big deal. Just be productive, like I said. Be productive and keep your house clean. And you will love it. You'll love it knowing that your house is so clean and everybody in it is staying safe because you're keeping things clean. You've seen after just a week how dirty that water gets when I clean all the, you know, the couch and the bedding and all that. You'll see just after a week how dirty it is in that video. But anyways, I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. Well, hang on. Let me flip this around. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hope you enjoyed these cleaning videos. I love you guys very much. So does Dorothy. All right, before I leave, I'd like to show you my one meal of the day. Jennifer really appreciates that and others like to see. I eat one meal a day every 24 hours to 25. I ate yesterday at four o'clock. It's almost 4.30, as you see on the clock there. So it's about 24 and a half hours since I ate. And here's what I'm eating. I just wanted to make it simple today. I have a lot to do. Not the greatest with that uh, zero net carb bread from Aldi's. That is a little bit dirtier, um, but we'll go over it. So know that the bread is not zero net. Uh, companies can write zero net, but if you read the ingredients, they are dirty ingredients and it's got insoluble fiber and regular fiber. And when you look at the ingredients and do the calculation, it's actually four net carbs a slice. So for just two slices alone was eight net carbs. But when you do one meal, you can do all your 20 in one meal. Otherwise, be careful throughout the day if you're eating more than one meal to keep it at 20 for the whole day. All right. So, and then I have a half of avocado. I have about a third to not quite a half of cucumber there, uh, all peeled. And then I've got some dill dip, one serving of that. Two hard boiled eggs. I did want to put that on the tuna fish. I don't like it on tuna. I like it on the side. So two hard boiled eggs with a little bit of mayonnaise. So, so we get some extra fat there along with the good fat from the avocado. And then I have a tea with sugar-free creamer, just one serving of it and MCT oil to give me another good fat. And then for my treat, I'm having a two good peach yogurt with two ounces of cream cheese mixed in with it. And then on top there is a dollop of whipped cream. So that's my one meal of the day, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Love all of you and God bless.